What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi. Star Wars began as a cinematic experience in 1977, as we all know. The movies are George's vision of Star Wars brought to life. Whatever your opinion on the prequels, you can't say that they weren't what George wanted. As for TV, well, you have a couple of cartoon series from the 80s in the Ewoks and Droids show, and then you have both Clone Wars series in the mid-2000s. Please join me in today's video as we discuss the history of the cancelled Star Wars movies and TV shows that were almost made. I hope you enjoy. TV shows. Lucas era. Number one, here's how. This was to be an educational Star Wars show for kids. Developed by Jock Churchin in the 1980s, it would have had C-3PO teaching a foreign language and his counterpart, R2-D2, covering the physical science of real-world objects. Though Lucasfilm was initially interested, they decided to abandon the idea. Number two, a Padawan spin-off series. This was a spin-off of the the Clone Wars series that would have followed a group of Jedi younglings from the Clone Wars arc in season five of the Clone Wars, where uh, you're following the younglings, you know, the one where Ahsoka goes with them to uh, build their lightsabers, all that stuff. Some of the ideas they had for the show were used in the youngling arc of the Clone Wars. And during an interview in 2016, Pablo Hidalgo, who as you might know, was the one that made fun of Star Wars Theory for crying at Luke's return in Mando Season 2. So, you know, is he the best judge of... I don't know. Anyways, he revealed that this Youngling show was the last Star Wars project George Lucas worked on before he sold to Disney. Number three, Star Wars Detours. Detours was an animated series meant to be a comedic look at the Star Wars universe. It was created by George Lucas and even had a director in Todd Grines and music by Michael A. Levine. This show was set between the two trilogies. You know, it was between episode three and episode four. It had three general locations to play with, Coruscant, the Death Star, and Tatooine, with each episode comprising of three six-minute segments. George Lucas revealed in June 2009 that an animated series was in development, and on April 5th, 2010, StarWars.com revealed that it was Detours. Writers were hired from a host of shows like The Simpsons, Family Guy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Battlestar Galactica, SpongeBob SquarePants, and The Daily Show. On March 11, 2013, Lucasfilm announced Detours was postponed to focus on the sequel trilogy, with some updates here and there, and while Disney never came out and said that Detours was cancelled, it has been years, so for all intents and purposes, it has been cancelled. 4. Star Wars Underworld, created by George Lucas and Ron Moore. This show was to be mostly set in the Coruscant Underworld, following the scum and villainy found there. This show would have been set post-Revenge of the Sith, but before A New Hope. During Celebration 3, George Lucas told fans that although the show would feature known characters from the films, they wouldn't be the focus. They would be more like little cameos and, you know, smaller appearances. He described the show as bare-bones and action-heavy and would depict what the denizens of Star Wars do for entertainment. Producer of the prequel trilogy, Rick McCallum, said of the show, Lucas envisions somewhere like 100 hours between Episode 3 and Episode 4 with a lot of characters that we haven't met that have been developed in some of the novels and other things. We are really excited about that. 
Finally, we could have the opportunity to answer everybody's questions once and for all by the time we finish the series. It is going to be much darker, grittier, it's much more character-based. Think about Bounty Hunter, that's all I can tell you. He also said it was Deadwood in Space and Empire on Steroids and compared it to something like The Godfather. According to Dan Wasson, project leader for The Force Unleashed on Wii, the show may contain elements from The Force Unleashed multimedia project. And Stephen Skeia revealed in his Kickstarter campaign in 2014 that he had been a writer and was involved in story elements like Lando losing the Falcon to Han Solo, Han and Chewie's first meeting, and an action scene with Boba Fett. George Lucas wanted the series to look and feel like a movie, but with a TV budget, with each episode being around 2 to 4 million. In 2010, Lucas revealed the show is on hold due to budget concerns. Lucas and Rick McCallum elaborated that the scripts were too expensive for TV and the show was to be put on hold for technology reasons to catch up to their ideas, basically. With Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm in October 30th, 2012, they expressed interest in the show, but as we are in 2024 now, and there's been nary a peep, it all but confirms that the show is, uh, yeah, pretty much dead. It's a real shame as this could have been something special. While Lucasfilm could make the show now with things like the volume, I would advise against this as current Lucasfilm doesn't hold a candle to the Lucasfilm of your Disney era. Rangers of the New Republic, you know, this was a show, a, a spinoff of The Mandalorian that, you know, probably would have followed Cara Dune and some other characters. It got cancelled. I mean, I think it threw off their plans for The Mandalorian, but uh, th that's just speculation on my part. Moving on to movies. The Lucas era. Number one, Ewoks 3. This was obviously the sequel to Caravan of Courage and Ewok Adventure and Ewoks, The Battle for Endor in development in the 1980s, but it was never made for unknown reasons. 2. A Droids Movie This movie was planned by George Lucas to be released at some point in the 1980s, and it was cancelled for unknown reasons. 3. A Wookiees Movie A movie planned by George Lucas for release in 1980, and it was cancelled and replaced by The Empire Strikes Back. 4. Star Wars Episodes 7, 8, and 9, the George Lucas versions. Created by George Lucas and Gary Kurtz, at the end of the Galactic Civil War, the New Republic, now referred to as just the Republic, like the Old Republic before it, continue to rebuild. Luke Skywalker, now a wise, aged Jedi Master, leading a renewed Jedi Order as they become the guardians of peace and justice again, a new threat arises. An old menace from decades earlier returns after being frozen for decades. During the events, Luke's son falls to the dark side and Luke has to save him, which he does manage to do and the threat is defeated. 5. George's Star Wars Episodes 10, 11, and 12, obviously created by George Lucas. The adventures of Luke and his son conclude with the fate of the Skywalker family and the end of the Journal of the Wills. Disney era. Number one, The First Jedi. And this was to be the first of David Benioff and D.B. Weiss's Star Wars trilogy. This was to focus on how the Jedi Order began, why it began, and exploring the first lightsaber. Benioff and Weiss confirmed that Lucasfilm had passed on the trilogy. Two, a Boba Fett movie. Josh Trank was set to direct, and Simon Kinberg was penning the screenplay. It was to be released in 2018, but in 2015, Trank left the project, and Disney decided to cancel it. It was originally to be the second of the Star Wars anthology series of spin-off films. 3. Jabba the Hutt movie. Directed by Guillermo del Toro and written by David S. Goyer, it would follow the rise and fall of Jabba the Hutt. In 2023, its existence and cancellation were confirmed by Goyer and Del Toro. 4. J.D. Dillard Star Wars Movie To be directed by J.D. Dillard and written by Matt Owens, The Hollywood Reporter first reported about this movie February 21st, 2020. Come November 8th, 2022, 
The Wrap published an interview with Dillard where he confirmed the movie was no longer happening. 5. Kevin Feige Star Wars Movie This would have been produced by Kevin Feige and written by Michael Waldron. It was confirmed September 25th, 2019, but by 2023, it was cancelled. 6. A Tatooine Movie On August 15th, 2018, Neil Lamont said a movie about Tatooine was in development, but a day later, MovieWeb confirmed that the film was cancelled. And that, as they say, is all she wrote. Which project did you wish got made? And are there any you're glad were never made? Let me know in the comment section down below. And on the top left, you can watch the cancelled video games video I did. And below that, you can watch the cancelled Star Wars books video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.